Well, there you go. Never seen that sign before. Vultures may cause damage to vehicles. Park at your own risk. So greetings from Maryland today. Yes, not Pennsylvania. Taking a road trip down here into Maryland. We're currently at the Conowingo Dam. It's a pretty interesting spot. I visited here a couple of years ago. I don't think I filmed, but there was tons of vultures here. Just chilling out. I already filmed a bunch of them over there before I filmed the intro of this video. But yeah, cool place. Cool place. All kinds of birds out here. I think there's eagles out here. I think I can see the nest up there. So yeah, pretty pretty cool spot. Yeah, so up that way is the dam. Actually, that the Route One goes across that dam. You got to drive on that to get here. But yeah, and this is the Susquehanna River here. That's just an island out there. The river's actually a lot wider than that. Beautiful location. Pretty popular spot. Looks like there's a trail, like a rail trail goes down there. Up there's all the, those vultures hanging out up there. I filmed them. We'll go back and film them again a little bit later. Just flying around all over the place up there. Popular spot for fishing and just people to film birds. The apple net power line I think is the eagle's nest. I'll try to zoom in later. Maybe we'll zoom in on the dam right now. Yeah, you can see the cars driving across the top. Pretty close. Yeah, right down there at the bottom is where the water is coming out. Like I said, I think there's an eagle's nest way up there. So I'm gonna try and see how much we can zoom in. Okay, pretty far. Looks empty though. one right there. All just kind of hanging out. So they're just hanging out everywhere, these vultures. Not really scared of people either. Maybe if you get too close, they'll fly off. But I saw a whole bunch down here at the, at the entrance. Let's go check them out. Come up, with a, come up with a name for this place. I mean, this is the Conowingo Dam. We'll maybe call it the Vulture Dam. Yeah, up here is just a, just a ton of them. I don't want to scare them all off. All back. Everywhere, man. Oh, there's one come flopping in. Hey, buddy. Yeah, they're all just out there hanging out, chasing each other around, sunning themselves. They just too much have a beef with each other. There you go, guys, chasing that one. What's your problem, buddy? Check out that dude, now he's sunning himself.
And it's just pretty cool to see so many out here all at one spot. Cleaning themselves. Not the most attractive looking fellas, but... Yeah, it's just a cool shot of them like sunning themselves out there. Yeah, there's even more now than when I first started filming them. Look at all of them. Everywhere. all hanging out. There's another one. And another one. Chasing each other around again. I guess you don't like each other. <laughs> and they're still chasing other. Oh, that was a bully. Yeah, you right there. That is the bully right there. So back in my home state of Pennsylvania, we do it, we have two species of vultures, the turkey vulture and the black vulture. And the same would, it would be the same down here from Maryland. Uh, turkey vultures are the ones that have the reddish colored head. You know, all vultures have that. Their head has no feathers on it for a reason, because they, they eat dead animals. So they shove their heads in like carcasses and stuff. So that would just make their head feathers get all, head feathers get all nasty. So they have featherless heads, kind of like a personal hygiene thing. But the turkey vultures have the, the reddish colored head and the black vultures have the black heads. But the confusing thing is that young turkey vultures also have black heads. So that could get kind of confusing. There are different ways to tell them apart, especially when they're in flight. Turkey vultures have a much shorter tail. With every single one here has a black head. So I'm thinking that most of these are black vultures unless this is just the ultimate hangout for teen you know turkey vultures and there's a bunch up in that tree over there too that's the iconic vulture look them hanging up in a hanging out in a dead tree like that All right, well, I guess I'm gonna leave all these guys alone for a little bit. We might talk a little bit more about them. I think some of these might be immature turkey vultures. But I'm gonna head up further, up towards the dam, I think. You can walk a bit further up. There is, seems like a pretty cool rail trail here too. If I haven't mentioned that already. All right, let's head on further up. Let's see what else we can find. I have seen a bunch of herons down there and cormorants. I heard an osprey, so there's more here. We've got a crow up there too. Not sure what he's telling us. Watch out for the vultures, he's saying. Yeah, the vultures are everywhere. They've been chilling out on top of the lampposts. And we do have a bald eagle up there. Check that out.
to the bald eagle is pretty cool. <laughs> Sitting up there in the tree. Hopefully we'll get another shot of it later. But we're gonna make a way, we're making our way pretty close up here to the dam. Looks like there's a pretty neat viewing platform down there too. Yeah, our eagle is up in those trees, but we are making our way. Oh, there's some cormorants out there. I'll try to get those later, but getting closer to the dam here. Looks like there's a little place we can go down. Get pretty close. This guy's got some fish on his line there. He's got two shad on there. If I can't see him on the camera. When, we, when he reels them in, we'll take a look. There's an eagle right there flying by. Yeah, right there he is. Right, and down there we have a heron. Probably a great blue heron. So I'm pretty sure that fish is what's called an American shad or some type of shad. Uh, they used to be really common you know, up in Pennsylvania, my home state, but, but the building of these dams and such uh, caused a lot of damage along with overfishing. They're a migratory species. I think they, they're one of those species that kind of migrate upstream to spawn and to have, lay their eggs and stuff and the building of these dams kind of interrupted with that life cycle quite a bit. I think there are plans on restoring them to their, to their natural habitats. And this is the first big dam on the Susquehanna River, the Conowingo. This is kind of cool to see when I don't think I ever saw a shad before. Yeah, so definitely a cool location here. If you're into filming you know, like birds and stuff, eagles. Definitely a place to come and visit. We saw, got two eagles on camera there and plenty of vultures. All right, but I, I could stay here a lot longer, but I got some other places to check out today here in Maryland. So we're gonna get back on the road, see what else Maryland has to offer today. It's a pretty awesome place, the Conowingo Dam. All right, I'll see you around.